All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, let me see here. Okay, hold on here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm just going to, like, uh, keep on. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so... Uh, okay. All right. So, share to a group. Uh, Chain Reaction Canada. There we go. Um, mm. uh, supporting Sarnia 2.0. There we go. Um, uh, uh, Sarnia Party People. There we go. Um, all right, uh, give me a minute here. Uh, uh, Cigar Life. Um, all right. So, anyways, yes, uh, welcome to Big Jim Vlogcast Live. Um, I'm going to, uh, all right. So, anyways, all right. Hmm, okay. Uh, Dube. All right. Hmm. Um. Exclusively Van Halen. Uh. Um. Hmm. All right. Remembering the original Van Halen. Uh. Van Halen. Um. All right. And so yeah. All right. So anyways. Um. Hello, Susan. Uh. How are you tonight? Uh. Okay, so anyways, okay, all right, here we go. So anyways, yes, uh, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast. All right, anyways, yeah, it is um, Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 242. It is Sunday, February 19th, uh, 2023. I'm going to do some more sharing. Um, all right, so anyways, yeah, so, uh, let's see, wrestling fans, um, hmm, um, all right, do, 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 okay, um, hmm, let's see here. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, freaking fantastic. Okay, yeah. Um, it, uh, I've got, like, uh, I'm just sharing for the group here, so, um, bear with me, um, mm, okay, all right, so, mm, all right, mm, all right, and yeah, it is episode 242. Um, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, so yes, we're live. We're happening right now. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Classic rock lovers around the world. Uh, Cigar Club. Uh, mm, all right. Um, uh, share to the options. Share to group. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Hello, people. It, 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 like I said, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live. 
uh, version 5.0, episode 242, Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Um, I'm Jim, and welcome. So, anyways, uh, I'm just sharing a few just cigars. Oh, yeah. Uh, beer lovers. All right. Uh, hmm. Oh. Mm. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So, anyways, yes, uh, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live. I'm gonna get my get it underway here. Um. All right. And so, yes, uh, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live. I'm gonna do my intro. Uh, version 5.0, episode 242, Big Jim Blogcast Live airs um, Sundays on Facebook and the occasional Fridays and Wednesdays. We're in our fifth year as Big Jim Blogcast Live debuted back in uh, 2018. We do craft beer reviews, over 200 and counting, like uh, from craft breweries right here in Ontario, right here in Sarnia, Ontario, and across Ontario and across Canada. Tonight's craft beer is called Big Hef and Hammer by the... Uh, Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in uh, Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. We will get to that in a minute. I'm trying for the very first time. We accompany it, accompany it with like a uh, good spirit tonight. It's being accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, it, uh, and a nice cigar, which I'm going to light. This is a LB1 uh, Rocky Patel cigar for all you people in the... Mm, or, strong anyways um all right so anyways yeah we uh, pair it with a good cigar and spirit so we talk about classic movies like classic tv sci-fi pro wrestling sports classic rock uh bongo solos van halen history local events near you countdowns birthday shout outs to our friends retro classic nostalgia yesteryear all the buzzwords here um big jim broadcast live is seen in uh U.S. and Canada, and also worldwide, like in the U.K., Australia, Mexico, France, Spain, Germany, so on. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune us on. Tune in and enjoy the show. Politics and religion are banned here, so we want to keep it a good time. Big Jim Blogcast Live isn't spam. I will reiterate this a couple of times to tonight. Um, the uh, we, we are not spam. Like us, share up, subscribe to us. The... Uh, Audio version of Big Jim Blogcast Live will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcast, um, and all these audio listening platforms you're listening to your podcast to, uh, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, so like us, share up, subscribe to us, and uh, yeah, so, mm. Mm. all right, hmm. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, I got a little bit of a disclaimer tonight. Um, I may say the, uh, I may say a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, fuck. But um, yeah, so go to your safe space, be ready. Uh, I'm gonna share this tomorrow with like uh, more other. Mm, okay, music and memories. There we go. Um, mm. Okay, board games group. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. Um, okay. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, now, if you're new here, why don't you tune it like uh, you can type in, say hello like I'm going to do. Um, all right. So, yeah, there we go. Um, all right. And so, yeah. Um, now, yeah, it, for those of you who are watching, tonight um, we've got like, uh, we're going to do my craft beer review. We got like 
bongo solos, random ones. All right, so you'll hear that all the way through, like uh, all the way through the, the broadcast. Um, so, all right, uh, we'll, we'll get to some. We'll get to our craft beer for tonight. Uh, we will get to like. Uh, Birthday shoutouts, countdowns, uh, we'll, local events. We'll uh, we're, we'll talk about Superman Returns, um, the Brandon Ruth era. Um, so we'll talk about like uh, a classic TV show, classic canceled TV show, one hit wonder, Man from Atlantis, uh, Rebellion pilot Zeb Sineska from Empire Strikes Back, a classic tag teams, the Hart Foundation, Snow Speeders from Empire Strikes Back, plus a classic board game here. From Star Wars, the Hoth Ice Planet Adventure uh, game, uh, a classic album by the Doobie Brothers, and this week in Van Halen history. So right on. Um, gonna do some more sharing here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where do I? Okay, I want to send this to uh, the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company. All right. So yes. Um, all right. All right, so Rusty Wrench Brewing Company. There we go. All right, and so, hmm. all right, so more options. Uh, let's see here. Share to a, a group. Um, let's see. Hmm. All right, so, uh, yeah. So, anyways, all right, so we've done that. All right, so, all right, um, so we're we, before we get going, before we do that, I know I've repeated myself, so anyways, um, this blogcast isn't spam. The audio version will go out later on uh, Spotify, uh, YouTube, uh, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com, Apple Podcasts, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast here, so... Uh, like us, share up, subscribe to us, right on. Um, yeah, and so when we get to, uh, we'll get to our uh, like craft beer, brew, craft beer for tonight. Um, hmm. All right. Uh, two, okay, so. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so... God. Um, hmm. Okay. All right. So anyways, yes, and I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the uh, Port Elgin Sarnia group, especially Sarnia Rocks. Uh, chain reaction, all the pop culture, retro plastic nostalgia groups. Um, uh, craft beer, cigars, all the Van Halen, classic rock um, groups. Um, it, uh, Star Wars, sci fi, pro wrestling, blogspot, classic TV and movies. Doobie Brother groups, uh, Superman. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. So, all right. All right. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Music. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, all right. Uh, we're going to get into our craft beer for tonight. Um, I'm going to relight this up. Um, okay. <coughs> all right. This is an LB1 Rocky Patel cigar, and I got it at the, uh, um, um, I got it at the uh, Riverfront Cigars right here in Sarnia. And so, all right, uh, okay. So tonight's craft beer, and it's being accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, all right, so, mm, okay, oh yeah. Mm. Ugh. Okay, tonight's craft beer, and I'm trying it for the very first time, and it's called Big Heffin' Hammer um, by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario. Uh, visited them last summer, 
Now I'm trying this beer for the very first time. So I'm going to open it up. There we go. I even got one of their their beer glasses. So trying it for the very first time. When I try it for the very first time, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So um, if you're still around in about an hour or so and you want to throw out a number similar to mine, um, yeah, all right, here we go. Pouring it, look at that. All right, so, oh, wow, all right. Hmm. Okay, I better stop there because, okay, Pilsner-like. Now, Big Heffin' Hammer, um, it's got, all right, notes of spice and cloves in it. So, again, top it up. We'll have the foam to go down the head there. Um, all right, so it's Big Heffin' Hammer. It's by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Um, all right, so here we go. So, mm. oh, wait, and when I do my craft beer reviews, I, uh, I've got a rating system here. So, there you go. There we go. There's my beer rating system. Anything above six is a happy face. There you go. Uh, I'll show it down below there. Um, but anyways, I go with my gut. I don't go like, well, you know, this beer is like very exquisite tasting. No, I don't. I just go with my gut, and uh, so, yeah, um, all right, so anyways, uh, yeah, here we go, Big Heffin' Hammer by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Mm. It's not that bad, not that bad at all. Um, mm. A little bit of like, uh, I, I dare I would say like a uh, Oh, I can taste... Oh, okay, hold on. Mmm. All right. Okay. All right. I got a... Um, um, a little bit of a tangy taste to it, you know, but uh, so far the aftertaste is pretty good. goes down really smooth. Mmm. I got to get a reading on it all uh, throughout the blogcast here. So, mmm. <coughs> so excuse me. Um, mm, mm, okay. So all right. Okay. Mm. <coughs> all right. So. Mm, mm. Share on you. Oh, no, no. Uh, mm. All right, there we go. Post, post, post. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, all right. So, okay. I'm going to share this to my. All right. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so anyways, here we go. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay, now, yes, um... We got this year. Um, we got like a new thing here, um, Cube and the Rubik. So, anyway, before we get to some, like our birthday shoutouts, um, three times tonight, I'm gonna try and get uh, the blue side going here. Twenty turns. So, for anybody who doesn't know what this is, this is a Rubik's cube. All right, here we go. Cube and the Rubik. Um, one, two, three, uh, four. Five, um, six, seven, uh, eight. Oh, almost got it. Look, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, um, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, ah, ah, 19, and 20. No luck. No such luck. That's 20 turns. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, we're going to do that five, about two more times tonight and do it throughout the whole year till I get a side. Uh, I'm not going to take the easy way out here. All right. And so, hmm. All right. So, anyways, yeah, this is Big Jim's Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242, Sunday, February 19th, uh, 2023. 2023. I, I think I, did I say 2022? You know, 2023. All right. So, um, yeah, we've got our, like, uh, craft beer for tonight. It is Big Hef and Hammer. That sounds like an awesome beer commercial, eh? Big Hef and Hammer. I, I could say that all night long. By the Rusty Branch Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Oh, mm. Mm. <coughs> Big Hef and Hammer. Look at the can. Awesome can, too. Like, um, all right. And I do give that, like I said, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So if you're still here and you want to throw out a number, see if it matches up with mine, please feel free to do so. So, all right. Mm. Okay. All right. So, and we've got any, also, boom. All right. Lots of bongo solos for everybody tonight, even if you don't want one. Um, Want to give before we get going here, before we do our birthday shout outs, I uh, want to give like uh, shouts out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, all the like uh, like Sarnia Rocks, uh, you know, Chain Reaction, great band there, pop, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the hard rock, classic rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, all the Star Wars, uh, sci fi, pro wrestling, Blogspot. Classic TV and movies. Um, hmm. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Retro Wrestling All-Stars. Okay, there we go. All right. And so um, we do birthday shout-outs here to, to all of our friends. Um now, okay, so, mm, ooh, oh yeah, I gotta have a taste of that beer again, so, mm, mm. all right, so anyways, we get down to it, um, if you're, if you, uh, if you're, if you watch Big Jim Blogcast Live, you know I do birthday shout outs to my followers and friends over here, so, if you want your, uh, birthday give you want me to give you a birthday shout out just let me know all right mm. <coughs> all right here we go with our birthday shout outs all right do, 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 do. okay um all right mm. Mm. all right <clears throat> from February 13th all the way up to 19th that's today um, Josh Fenton, Beverly Ann Guy, Shannon Davis, and Chris Hornbuckle, Jason Swan, Shelly Aubie, Christine Walker, Leslie Guy Gammy, Mike Muschamp, Bradley Thomas, Jennifer Clark Rowley, Tina Quelch, and Lee Ross. Happy birthday, everybody, from Big Jim Podcast Live. All right. All right. Okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> that is happy birthday shout outs from uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live. All right. Mm. Okay. <sighs> that is a good cigar. Um, all right. And so, yeah. Because, um, like, sh- like mm. it is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 242, Sunday, February 19th, 2023. So, before we get into countdowns and local events, some of us in Canada have a day off tomorrow. Like you, Susan, you have a day off tomorrow, but I, uh, it's, it, 
Some of us have a long weekend, some of us don't. So, anyways, cheers to you, everybody, that, that does. <coughs> like my lovely girlfriend, Susan, who has tomorrow off. Cheers. Mm, mm. All right. So, yeah. Um, when we get going, so as I will remind everybody tonight, this broadcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, shouts out everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia group, Sarnia Rocks, um, uh, Chain Reaction, uh, great little band there. You got to get a chance, check that. Glenn and the guys, 80s rock, they, they rock. Um, all the uh, retro classic pop culture nostalgia groups, all the uh, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, blog spot, classic TV and movies, all the Superman, Doobie Brothers, um, which reminds me, uh, uh, all right, that's not there, but, um, all right. Okay, so. All right, so anyways, yeah, great. All right. All right. Jesus is just all right with me. But anyways, uh, we get some countdowns now. Um, mm. We've got, spring is 29 days away. St. Patrick's Day is 23 days away. Daylight Savings Time is 20 days away. Um, Mother's Day is 83 days away. Father's Day, or no, Victoria Day Long Weekend is 91 days away. Uh, Father's Day is 119 days away. The Good Friday Long Weekend is... Uh, 47 days away. Canada Day is 131 days away. Um, do, do, do. Our August Civic Long Weekend is 169 days away. And summer, God, summertime is only 121 days away. All right, and that's Countdowns brought to you by Big Jim Blogcast Live. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. All right. Boom. Live bongo solos there for everyone. Um, yeah, before we get to local events, I want to point it out. Uh, my crop beer tonight being accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, damn good. All right. Mm. And uh, and a good cigar. My good cigar here. Um, mm. It is an LBI. Um, mm. Mm. <coughs> Riverfront Cigars here, right here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. All right. Right. Um, all right. So, with a craft beer tonight, um, if you're from Strathroy, you'll be very familiar with like the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company. Uh, there, I've got Big Heff and Hammer by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Um, I'm trying it for the very first time. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, very, very... All right. A little bit of a tangy taste to it, but I'm going to say I'm. Uh, it's we. It's going good. It's going good so far. It takes me all broadcast long to, like, uh, get a reading on it. I, I, I can't do an instant, like, take on it, but, um, yeah, mm. goes down pretty smoothly for a, a Pilsner, no, wait a minute, true to German style, 4.5% alcohol volume, uh, notes of spice and cloves in that, um, big heffin' hammer by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada, so, anyways, yeah, um, but, uh, Mm. And I brought back up. I brought a, another one along there. So if you see that. So anyways, great. 
Um, yeah. Hmm. <coughs> All right. So, hmm. Um, what else can I do here? Share the group. All right. So, hmm. Okay. So, Bangkok Cigar Club. There we go. Um, hmm. For the love of Dr. Johnny Fever. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Mm. All right. All right, so... Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. So. Mm. All right. Okay. So for those of you out there, um, all right, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 242. It is Sunday, February uh, 19th, 2023. Mm. <coughs> Feel free to type in and say hello. I think I will do that right now before we get to some local events here. There we go. All right. So, yeah. <coughs> All right. So with local events, um, the buzzwords, they, they've come back in full force, like, uh, you know, because, like, uh, the past couple of years was COVID. Local events, uh, they were, that used to be the buzzwords were hi hiatus, canceled, postponed, rescheduled. Um, but uh, here we go. Like, uh, they're, they're back. They're back. And, and they're, they're so, anyways, here we go. Saturday night dances, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Sarnia Legion downstairs, $7 cover charge. They play classic rock country, 286 Front Street North. They run from February to March. Uh, Thursday, May 18th, 2023, Refined Fool has karaoke night downtown Sarnia. Always a good time at the uh, Refined Fool. Uh, Saturday, February 25th, and yes, I'm looking at it in my calendar, uh, 2023, 8 p.m. is the Mud Men at Victoria Hall in Petrolia, Ontario, 411 Greenfield Street. Tickets on sale at the VPP office. Saturday, February 25th, 2023, 8 p.m. is 80s Gone Wild at Rustic. Uh, tickets are at the door. Rustic, a great little band there. Ruster. I'll call it Ruster from now on. So, all right. Um, Saturday, April 1st. 2023 is Ruster's second anniversary featuring Red Hot Canadian Peppers, a tribute to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Tickets at the door. Friday, March 3rd, 2023 at 8 p.m., Permanent Waves, a Rust tribute at Rustic in Sarnia. Um, all right. Blue Water Border Fest is June 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 2023. It's in Centennial Park in Sarnia. Uh the Thursday, the 22nd, is Justin Moore, Tim Hicks. The Friday, Show, City in Color, Sheepdogs, Blue Stones. Saturday is Daughtry, Theory of a Dead Man and Pop Evil. Tickets at www.ticketscene.ca. Uh, Mark and the guys pick up the pieces where Bayfest left off. Um, they do a pretty good job of it. They're friends of Big Jim Blogcast Live. They gave us tickets in 2019 to give away. Hopefully, we'll have like uh, tickets to give away on here. Um, to our lucky uh, viewers, um, stay tuned. You never know. Um, but uh, yeah, Revelry Music Festival, July twenty first, twenty three. It's all ages. The acts include the Arkells, Lights Living Room, um, Lights Living Room for Small, uh, Gypsy Flats, Little Y, uh, ninety five dollars general admission, one hundred thirty five dollars a weekend pass. That's in Canaterra Park in Cernia. Saturday, August twelfth. 
6.30 p.m., Rumblefish. Great band there. Uh, rocking the Duke, New Orleans, too. Tickets, $30. And you, uh, uh, you board the Duke at 6.30. The cruise starts from... The cruise is at 7 till 10 p.m. Contact any band member for tickets. Band member of Rumblefish for tickets. So there you go. And there are our local events for, like, uh, for, for now. Um, all right. So, okay. Mm. Mm. All right. So, mm-hmm. yes, Blue Water Border Fest. Always a good time there. So, all right. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. So, anyways, yeah, let's see. Share to a more option, share to a group. Um, all right. Uh, okay. All right. There we go. Okay. Mm. Okay, so anyways, yeah, um, like I said, like, uh, um, if you're in Sarnia, uh, yeah, look, Blue Water Border Fest, Revelry, all those fun things to do. Mm. Mm. <coughs> oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, so... Before we get underway, I want to give. Uh, I want to say that uh, and I'll remind you about maybe four more times tonight. Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you're listening to your podcast to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, we're not spam. Like us, share up, subscribe to us. I want to say hi to everybody in the. Port Elgin Sarnia groups, uh, especially Sarnia Rock, supporting Sarnia 2.0. Um, Chain Reaction, great band there. All the retro classic pop culture nostalgia groups, all the like hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen groups, the craft beer, cigars, uh, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, the Superman groups, Doobie Brothers, right on. So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Like us, share up, subscribe to us. Um, anyways, the craft beer for tonight, accompanied by like uh, Gibson's finest uh, whiskey. Um, all right, mm, on the rocks. Mm. Our craft beer for tonight is called Big Half and Hammer. All right, um, I've got one. It's by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Trying this beer for the very first time here. Um, mm. Mm. Very good taste to it. Like um, it goes down smoothly. There's a bit of a, like a little bit of like a tangy, um, a little bit of a tang to it. But uh, you know, it, the, the ingredient. I'm reading the can here. Uh, water, wheat, barley, hops, yeast, plus a touch of like spice and cloves to it. Maybe that's the kicker to it. Um, but yeah, it's a good beer. Um, it gives me, uh, I have all blog, all the blogcast to, you know, figure it out, um, get a handle on it, get a read on it. But, mm. yeah, and I do give it a rating and a 10 later on in the blogcast. So, if anybody's still here by then, and you want to throw out a number and see if it matches up with mine, um, yeah, there you go. So, and this is like the, uh, um, and here's like how I rate it out of 10. There's my beer rating system. Um, anything above six is a happy face above average. Very good. Excellent. Awesome. Outstanding below average. Well, you get the idea. So anyways, yeah. All right. Boom. All right. So anyways, um, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242, Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, okay. So, we'll place these over here. Um, All right, I got it. Okay. 
Jesus is just uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna place these over here. Um, okay. So, anyways, yeah. Um, I'll move this over here. Mm. All right. So. Mm. 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 Good cigar. It is an LBI LB one. It is by the uh, Rocky Patel Cigar Company. Um, got this like at uh, Sarnia or like uh, uh, Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia, like right outside of Sarnia. Um, all right, so we've got uh, on tap for tonight: Superman Returns the movie. So this is a five-parter. Um, all right. So, anyways. Um, Hmm. Okay, so did I did, 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 did complete first season? Well, uh, yeah, all right. So, anyways, Superman Returns, all right. Um, it was released July, June 28, 2006. Now, this is like a part five of a part mm, six, seven series on the Superman films. Um, we just finished the Chris Reeve era of Superman 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so, all right. So, anyways, yeah, Superman Returns. There's the, like, uh, most of the, here's the cast for it. Um, you got Brandon Ruth now as, like, uh, Superman Clark Kent. Uh, Kate Bosworth as Lois Lane. Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor. Frank Langella as Perry White. Uh, Sam Huntington as Jimmy Olsen, or even Marie Saint as Jonathan Kent, or no, Martha Kent, Tristan LeBeau as Jason White, Superman, Lois Lane, son, um, and, uh, Marlon Brando makes a, pos makes a, even though he's been dead for a long time, makes an appearance in, in this movie. Now, all right, so anyways, uh, let's see, okay, um, okay. So, anyways, yeah. Now, with Superman Returns premise here, Superman's been gone for about five years because scientists have discovered remains of... I've got the movie on right now. So, they've discovered uh, remains of Krypton. Superman returns to Earth after five years. And as Clark Kent, how convenient, gets his job back at the Daily Planet. Lois Lane is engaged to Perry White, the nephew... or, or engaged to... Uh, is engaged to Perry White's nephew, Richard. She has a super... Mm, mm. Lois Lane has moved on. Uh, she has a five-year-old son named Jason. Uh, Lex Luthor goes to the Fortress of Solitude, steals Krypton's Kryptonian crystals that uh, almost like... Uh, um, mm. All right, so, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Which uses an experiment that causes a power outage on the East Coast. Superman... Shows up, um, and the power outage interferes with the plane that Lois Lane is on. How convenient for that, too. Um, he, Superman saves the plane with everybody aboard, including Lois. Uh, the world welcomes Superman back. Um, but he's got difficulty coping with the fact that he feels everyone he was close to has moved on with their lives. Well, when you've been gone for five years, yeah. Um, now... Uh, Luther steals kryptonite. He kidnaps Lois and Jason. Uh, lures Superman to his location. Luther is henchman. Almost kill off Superman with his kryptonite. Uh, and that leaves Superman weakened. But the kryptonite, by the kryptonite, he crashes back to Earth. Uh, doctors do the best they can, uh, removing the kryptonite from Superman, who is in a coma. Lois like uh, and Jason wait for him in the hospital. Uh, she whispers something. He, he awakens, he flies off, um, uh, you know, so anyways, um, he minimizes the destruction that uh, Lex Luthor's caused, so he is now back to stay, um, and reassures everyone that back back to stay. So, as a movie, um, this wasn't that bad, this wasn't, that, like, this wasn't that bad of a movie. So, Brandon Ruth takes over from Christopher Reeve, um, the late Christopher Reeve. So, all right. So, there's the, uh, and I don't, and 
You know, um, Lex Luthor, Kevin Spacey did a great job as Lex Luthor in this movie. So, a different take on Gene Hackman's Lex Luthor. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, I posted, like, uh, clips of it on my uh, blogcast page and my Facebook page. Um, this is considered, the director, Brian Singer, considered this like a direct homage to Superman the first Superman movie and Superman 2, but thank God ignored Superman 3 and Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, uh, as those were disaster shit shows. So, um, sorry, Superman fans, if you're watching, like, I mean, you probably got the same opinion as I do. So, all right. Um, oh, yeah. All right, we've got the same, the same big plot hole in Superman as we did... There's a little bit of a big plot hole here. Anybody see that? Anybody like, uh, you know, um, with the Superman movies? A um, little bit of a plot hole here. Anybody guess? Take a guess as to what that is? The whole Clark Kent Superman identity thing. Shit. How many people can figure out when your, mo your most important employee is gone for five years at the same time as Superman? I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I can't tell. No. I mean, I take off my glasses. I'm a superhero. Oh, okay. I can't tell that you're Superman. Okay. But anyways, that, that, that that's my opinion. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. But, um, all right. But, you know, like, suspension of disbelief, it was a good movie. So, I got it on right now. Um, not that bad of a movie. Superman Returns. No sequel to it. It was the only series in the Superman films with Brandon Ruth. Routh? Routh? Ruth? Ruth? Um, Routh or Ruth? Um, okay. So, the DVD on here. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. It was it was a good movie, though. And I did post several, like, uh, clips from the movie, plus the trailer on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So, look for it. Mm. 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 All right. <laughs> all right. Bongo solo there for everybody. Um. All right. Okay. So. Mm. All right. So yeah. Um. Hello out there, everybody. Uh. All right. So. Tonight's craft beer. Accompanied by like uh, our Gibson's finest Scotch, our Gibson's finest whiskey, it is Big Hef and Hammer by the uh, Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Damn good beer! I brought back up. I'm gonna top it up. Um, I'm trying it for the very first time on the blogcast, and so here we go. Just topping this baby up here. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So, yeah, um, mm, mm, yeah, a little bit of a, like, a uh, little bit of a clovey, like, aftertaste to it, but goes down really smoothly. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here now. I'm going to start it. It's a good summer beer. It is. It's a good summer beer. Um, it's good. Mm. All right. So, and I do... Like, I give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here, if you're still sticking around, um, um, you know what? Feel free to throw, throw out a number and uh, see if it matches up with mine. Um, all right. So, good cigar. Uh, it is an LB1. Mmm. 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 By Riverfront Cigars right here in Sarnia. If you have, a, you have reached out to me and told me how good of a cigar this was going to be tonight, you were right. So, thank you. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, anyways, yeah. Now, all right. So, we get to our, mm, all right, we get to our classic TV series. Hmm. All right, um, tonight, uh, okay, so, all right, mm, 
Okay. We get to our classic TV series. Like, it was a one-hit wonder. It was canceled. Uh, it debuted Man from Atlantis. Uh, it debuted on NBC from September 22nd, 1977, uh, till June 6th, 1978, for 13 episodes. Um, now, it stars Patrick Duffy as Mark Harris, who's an amnesiac. Um, he's the only um, surviving citizen of the lost city of Atlantis. He possesses the abilities to breathe underwater, withstand, stre- withstand extreme death pressures, and has superhuman strength. And so, if anybody remembers this, he has webbed hands and feet. He's recruited by the Foundation for Oceanic Research, a government agency that conducts top-secret research and explores the ocean and the submarine. Now, it also stars Belinda Montgomery as Dr. Elizabeth Merrill, who nursed Mark back to health, Alan Fudge as C.W. Crawford, Jr., um, lead, head of the Foundation for Oceanic Research. Now, here's a few. All right. There's, like, uh, the cast there, Patrick Duffy, Belinda Montgomery, uh, Alan Fudge. Here's, like, uh, here's like uh, Mark Harris in action, all right? And so, okay, so, yeah, um, all right, and so, okay. Mm. Now, um, NBC mm, would put... Uh, man from Atlantis. Okay, here's the here's the uh, schedule. The 1977 78 primetime network TV schedule. NBC put Man from Atlantis. Um, in the Tuesday night uh, fall time slot from 9 p.m. till 10 p.m. Now, as you can see, it's competition. CBS had MASH from 9 to 9.30, one day at a time from uh, 9.30 to 10 p.m. And ABC had Three's Company and Soap, Three's Company at 9 to 9.30, Soap from 9.30 to 10 p.m. You've got uh, Soap, um, you've got, um, you've got uh, Three's Company, you've got One Day at a Time, um, You've got MASH. (laughs) Um, And let's see, I already did Soap, which is a good TV show on its own. So it was like, all right. So it was because it was done after 13 episodes, canceled because of declining, because of high production cost of the TV show and declining ratings. Well, when you're across from... When your competition is MASH, the uh, 700-pound gorilla ratings monster for CBS, one day at a time, Freeze Company and Soap, you, I don't, you don't stand a chance there. So, 1977-78, um, yeah, you had MASH, um, you had, like, uh, mm, all right, you had, like, Freeze Company, mm. Um, you had soap. All right. And, uh, yeah. So, all right. So, anyways, does anybody else know? All right. So, Patrick Duffy. Now, all right. So, anyways, yeah, Patrick Duffy. So, anybody know what he went on to be? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, Bobby Ewing from Dallas. Dallas would start. All right. There it is. There's Dallas's first season. All right. Okay. He would go on. Dallas debuted April 2nd, 1978. Um, of course, he would go on to be like uh, audition and get the role of Bobby Ewing. So he wasn't unemployed for too long. So, yeah. All right. Mm. And, uh, mm. I posted several. All right, so. Mm, okay. Mm. And I posted several clips from Man from Atlantis, uh, the trailer, uh, and several clips from the uh, TV show on my blogcast page 
and my Facebook page. So, but it was for its time. I do remember. See, I was like seven, eight years old in, in when the time, but um, I caught a bit of it. Like, I mean, my parents let me stay up to watch this TV show. I remember it. So, it was not. It was cool for its time, and I didn't know where. It, I didn't really like. Uh, didn't really get why it disappeared after 13 seasons, but understanding it now, okay, so understanding how television ratings work, so hey, there you go. But it was a cool show for its time, so, all right. Mm. 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 All right. Mm. Okay, good cigar there. It's an LB1 Rocky Patel cigar uh, from Riverfront Cigars here in Sarnia. Um, all right, so anyway, before we get to our rebellion pilot, um, let's see here. So, all right, so I'm going to tell you, remind you guys once again that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Listen Notes, and all these audio listening platforms you're listening to your podcast to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. So, give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia, Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia, supporting Sarnia 2.0. Sarnia rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, Chain Reaction, great band there. Um, all the retro classic uh, pop culture groups, all the uh, hair metal, hard rock, classic rock, Van Halen groups, all the crap beer cigars. Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, blog spot, classic TV and movies, the Superman, the Doobie Brothers groups, right on. So you guys rock. Tonight's craft beer, accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, it is... Mm, all right. Mm, it is... Big Hef and Hammer. All right. Okay, and I do... It is by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Trying it for the very first time here. Mm. Mm. Definitely a summer beer. Goes down smooth. There's a little bit of a like uh, aftertaste to it, but that's good. It's true to the German style. Um, top it up. All right. Um, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, um, it, uh, yeah, it's definitely a summer beer. Definitely, like, uh, good for the beach, you know. I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast, so if you want to throw out a number, feel free to do so. So, yeah. Mm. Proudly brewed in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. I visited the Rusty Wrench last summer. It was a great little uh, uh, craft brewery down there in the heart of downtown, like, uh, Sarnia. All right, so, yeah, mm, boom. All right, so random bongo solo there for everybody. Again, now I'm going to try Cube and the Rubik time. Now I'm going to try with 20 turns to get blue, uh, the side of blue, okay? So here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, um, Seven, eight, nine, nine clicks there. Uh, mm, ten, um, eleven, twelve. Ah, okay, twelve. Um, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, um, eighteen. Uh, 19 and 20. Nope, couldn't, could not. One more time tonight. I will do that this one more time tonight. So, and I'm gonna do that all year round. Like, uh, so yeah. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. So. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> all right. So, anyways. Um, yeah, it's Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242. 
Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Thank you for watching. Thank you for like uh, ending. Some of us have a long weekend. Some of us don't. I didn't realize it until I was told. Uh, oh, yeah, it's like family day tomorrow. Sorry, that's, I, have to, I still have to go to work like everybody else. But um, my super hot, super sexy girlfriend, Susan, has tomorrow off. So, yeah, enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, anyways, um, we get to our our minor Star Wars character. Um, all right. He is Zev Sineska. Now, if you're familiar, if you watch The Empire Strikes Back, like, and who hasn't among us? So, um, his only line in the movie was, quote, Echo Base, this is Rogue Two, I found them. Repeat, I found them. And by them, he means Captain Hans, Com Han Solo and Commander Luke Skywalker. This guy. All right. So, um, now Zev was a human male rebel pilot who served the rebellion as a founding member of Rogue Squadron. Um, he was stationed on the planet Hoth. Uh, Zeb flew a snowspeeder uh, under the call sign Rogue Two. He found the missing Rebel Alliance members, Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. Um, he was born in a Kestic station near the uh, Bestine system. Now Zeb joins the Rebel Alliance at the beginning of the Galactic Civil War and joins Rogue Squadron. Now, sadly, the Battle of Hoth Echo Base when the Empire, uh, when the Empire, meaning Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers, Snowtroopers, um, discovered the location, the re Rebels began evacuating everybody. Zeb piloted his uh, snowspeeder ready for war. Zeb and his, pi and his gunner were shot twice by an Imperial AT-AT. The second shot uh, killed both Zeb, Zeb and his gunmen. So, um, there you go. There's our minor Star Wars Empire Strikes Back character, Zeb Sineska. So, um, and later on, we'll, I'll tell you what snow speeders are, how they work, and I've got a classic board game, too. So, yeah. Um, and I posted several, um, uh, I posted clips from that move from, of Zeb from the Empire Strikes Back, plus his backstory on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So, yeah. Hmm. All right. Jesus is just going right here. Hmm. All right. So, anyways. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242. Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Thank you for uh, coming on and uh, viewing and joining and like uh, ending your weekend with me. So, all right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, okay. Mm. Uh, mm. All right. Tonight's craft beer, it is accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, mm, all right, it is. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh. It is called Big Heffin' Hammer um, by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Trying this beer for the very first time. Mm. Mm. Very good. It's a, it's a summer beer and fall. We're going to expand on that a little. Uh, summer and fall beer. Great for like uh, being on the patio with your buddies, barbecuing with your buddies. Um, you're just getting back from a, or a, or a hard day after work. Um, yeah, like it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of an aftertaste to it, but it does go out and it goes down really smoothly. So, hmm, hmm. And like I said, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blog cast. So if you're still here, you want to throw it a number, see if it matches up with mine, um, feel free to do so. All about the audience participation here at Big Jim Blogcast Live. So, all right. Mm. 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 Oh, man. Went out again. All right.
<laughs> All right. So, mm, what's happening in your world? Um, all right. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, yeah. Um, it, uh, <laughs> all right. So, we're going to get to our classic tag team of the night, um, the Hart Foundation. All right. So, mm. All right, so combined weight, this was uh, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, Brett the Hitman Hart, and Jimmy Hart the Mouth of the South. Um, combined weight of 515 pounds. Um, the name originated, they debuted in 1985, uh, that's where the name originated. Uh, the Hart Foundation was active. This version of the Hart Foundation was active from 1987 to 1991. Now they debuted in WrestleMania II. Uh, in a 20-man over-the-top battle royal. Um, let's see. All right. So, anyways. Uh, let me find it here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. There we go. Um, the first... Um, do, 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 he was eliminated. Um, Andre the Giant was in that uh, battle royal, and he eliminated, like, uh, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart. So, um, hmm, all right. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, anyways, um, there are major feuds from 1986, like, uh, well, let me find it here. Um, the British Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. Mm. And, yeah, the Killer Bees. B. Brian Blair jumping Jim Brunzel. Um, yeah, so, hmm, so, um, WrestleMania 3, they have a six-man tag match with, like, Danny Davis, um, uh, Hearts versus Tito Santana, the British Bulldog, they would, like, feud with, um, Strike Force, um, <laughs> and who else? Okay, so, anyways, mm -hmm. All right, so, all right, so that, yeah, they would feud with, like, uh, the Killer Bees for the better heart, better half of, like, uh, of uh, 1986, um, Demolit, they would also feud, like, uh, with, who else here, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they would also feud with, like, Demolition, um, the Brain Busters, um, the Power and the Glory. All right. So, and also they would also feud with the Islanders, um, Money Inc. Um, also managed by Jimmy the Mouse of the South Heart. Um, so, but uh, yeah, WrestleMania. 1989 WrestleMania, they defeated the uh, Honky Tonk Man and, and the Greg the Hammer Valentine. Um, they would split up, but they would feud with the Rockers, Marty Jannetty and uh, Shawn Michaels. At WrestleMania VII, they would be defeated by the Nasty Boys. Um, all right, so anyways, uh, twice tag team champions. Um They'll go on to win the WWE Tag Team Championship twice. Um, they disbanded in 1991. Um, in 2019, uh, both Jim the Anvil Neidhart and Brett the Hitman Hart were inducted into the uh, into the WWE Hall of Fame by their uh, Brett's niece, Natalia. Um, so, no reunion there. Unfortunately, uh, Jim Neidhart would pass away. Bret Hart would go on to a successful singles career, um, and uh, yeah, uh, Andre the Giant, Strike Force, um, mm -hmm. Money Inc., um, mm-hmm. Mm Oh, yeah, they would also, like, uh, B. 
to get a short, have a short feud with like the Road Warriors when they showed up. Mm. Mm. All right. And also, Jimmy Hart went on to manage the Natural Disasters. So, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and I posted several. Uh, I posted several matches and promos by the Heart Foundation with Jimmy the Mouth of the South Heart. Um, look for them on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So look for it. Mm. All right. That is your classic tag team. Um, mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, hmm. Mm. <coughs> Good cigar there that's like a LB1, Rocky Patel cigar. Um, for those of you watching in all the cigar groups, um, yeah. Tonight's craft beer, well, wait, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242. It is Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Thank you for watching. Um, all right. So, hmm. all right. So now I'm going to show you guys something here. Um, we may have like, uh, all right. So this is a snow speeder. All right. Uh, here's a picture of it. Um, all right. It is, it was in the Empire Strikes Back. Um, it's your T-47 air speeder manufactured by Incom, Incom Corporation. It's a low altitude vehicle. It's costing, it costs the Rebellion, each one of these costs the Rebellion 18,000 credits. Now, when the Rebellion was hiding out on Hoth, Rebel technicians modified the T-47 airspeeders into snow speeders for low altitude, ground altitude, uh, to adapt to Hoth's temperatures. Techs insulated each, uh, each radiator fin with side panels. There's a radiator fin. There's like, uh, you put your pilot in there. Let's assume that's Zev Kineska or Luke Skywalker. There's like the harpoon gun right here. There's like uh, a got like we got the pilot here. Um, you're like uh, uh, the maximum speed length of these snow speeders were 5.3 meters. The maximum speed was 1100 uh, kilometers per hour, and the highest it could go was 175 meters. Crew of one pilot. There we go. Um, with a gunner in the back. Um, all right, so uh, it's our, our, well, laser cannons right here, uh, harpoon gun in the back there. So there's the grills, uh, the underside of it, the landing gear, um, the side fins. Um, all right, uh, harpoon gun back there, and with two pilots in it too. So I posted more of like the uh, of, of the snow speeders text on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So look for it, like it, uh, look for it on my blogcast page and my Facebook page there. So, all right. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's the landing gear right underneath there. So, all right. Mm. Jesus is just all right. Okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. Good cigar here. Uh, LB1 Rocky Patel cigar by the uh, Riverfront Cigars right here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, mm. Yeah, Bongo Solo. All right. So. Mm. Okay, now, hmm. all right. Before we get to our our uh, our uh, our board game, our classic board game, um, it, I want to remind everybody tonight that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple, 
listeningnotes.com, uh, anywhere where you listen to your uh, audio li- plat, anywhere where you listen to your audio list on your like, uh, where you listen to your podcast, your audio platform, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at youtube.com. I want to give shouts out to everybody watching the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, Sarnia Rock supporting Sarnia 2.0. Uh, you guys rock, Michelle, great. Uh, Chain Reaction, great band there. All the retro classic uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, pop culture, nostalgia groups, uh, all the Van Halen, um, classic rock, uh, hair metal um, groups, um, all the craft beer, cigar groups, all the sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, plus the Superman, Doobie Brother groups, right on. So, hmm, yeah. Um, hmm, all right. <laughs> all right good cigar right as always oh yeah mm. all right so mm. okay all right so anyways yeah um my craft beer for tonight accompanied by gibson's whiskey finest whiskey mm. all right so mm. Our craft beer for tonight, it is called Big Heffin' Hammer. All right. I've got it right here. i got it in the Rusty Wrench uh, glass. It is by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Trying it for the very first time tonight. Mmm. Mmm. Good beer. It's a good spring beer, spring and fall beer. Um, it, uh, yeah. Um... There's no unpleasant aftertaste. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Um, but when I do craft beer reviews, I just, I don't go, well, you know, I, um, it, it's very exquisite tasting, you know. I go with my gut. I don't, I go with my gut on it. Um, and so far, this is a do again. This is like really good beer. And I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blog cast. So I'm going to top this up. So if you're still here, still with us, feel free to throw out a number out of 10. If it matches up with mine, that's great. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Big Heffin' Hammer by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. So uh, Rusty Wrench, great little uh, craft brewery there, right in the heart of downtown Strathroy. So if you ever get a chance, pop in there. Mm. See what beers they've got on tap. So, all right. Um, yeah, and so, mm, we have, now for our retro, we have our, uh, our retro board game tonight, um, if you're sensing a theme, you're probably right, it's the Hoth Ice Planet Adventure Game, so, mm, all right, so, gotta be, we, and it includes, all right, so, you've got your, um, Mm, all right. So, anyways, so anyways, yeah. Here it is. You've got your your uh, your uh, your pieces here. It's five. You've got like uh, a little Millennium Falcon there. You've got like a snow speeder there. Those are game pieces. A red Millennium Falcon and a yellow Millennium Falcon. Um, it is like like the. It says it's for two to four players, ages eight and up. Um, you've got your little spinner here. Oh, yeah, I also forgot. A green Millennium Falcon. So the object of the game, um, it here is, okay, well, all right. You've got your spinner here uh, for, all right, you spin it. There we go. Oh, let's see where it goes. Probot, Boba Fett, um, ages eight and up. Um, you've got your like, uh, you've got your instructions here. Um, it's just you and the other rebel fighters traveling around the dangerous ice planet Hoth. You must use your wits and the force to overcome the strong imperial defenses lurking there. You'll find four deadly enemies blocking your path, and you will come face to face with Darth Vader, the most evil villain in the Empire, can, can send against you. Can your Jedi strength overcome him? If it, if 
it must if the rebel forces are to triumph. So, all right. So you've got the. There we go. Um, it uh, you've got eighty one force cards, twenty seven incident cards. Um, the battle board. Uh, let's see here. All right, the battle board. All right. So, hmm. all right. And here's the battle board. There we go. All right. So you've got it right there. Um, ooh, there's Darth Vader in the center. There's Boba Fett. There's a snow snow trooper. There's the Adat Walker. There's the Imperial Probe Droid. Um, all right. So you got your uh, incident card here, which typically, you know, your your incident cards here. Advance to the Probot Battle Square. Do battle if you have a sufficient force. Advance to the Adat Battle Square. Do battle if you have sufficient force. And so. Um, and that's our retro classic board game for tonight. Mm. All right. So, okay. The Hoth, it is the Hoth Ice Adventure Game. And it was made by, okay, when did they, ages eight and up? Um, mm. Came around the time that, uh, all right, came around the time that, like, um, The Empire Strikes Back came out. So, all right, here's a couple of kids on the back and doing their thing with the, the game there. But, um, yeah, so, all right. And that is our, like, uh, Hoth Ice Planet Adventure get board game. And I posted several classic commercials. Um there on uh, uh, about the, the the Hoth Ice Adventure board game, um, Ice Planet Ad Adventure game on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So yeah, look for it. Um, all right. So okay. Mm, yeah. Boom. All right. All right. Random bongo solo there for everybody. Okay. Mm. 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 <coughs> I forgot to put back the tokens in it. All right. So, okay. Mm. In you go. So, there we go. All right. Mm. All right. Okay. Okay. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, version 5.0, episode 242, is Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Thank you for uh, ending your long weekend with me. Uh, some of us have a long weekend, some of us don't. So, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, mm, mm. <coughs> All right, good cigar there. <coughs> mm. It is an LB1 uh, Rocky Patel cigar. Mm. It is very good. A few of you reached out to me uh, earlier today and said that, that that cigar is a good cigar. You'll enjoy it. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. Thank you uh, for, for, yeah. So, anyways, all right. Um, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242. It is Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Um, want to uh, reiterate that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify. And all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live. YouTube.com. Give shouts out to really watching the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks. Sarnia support, supporting Sarnia 2.0. Um, all the like, uh, yeah, Michelle, you guys rock. Uh, Chain Reaction, great band there. Glenn and the guys really like deliver all the hits. Uh, all the retro classic pop culture nostalgia groups. Um, all the like, uh, Hair metal, hard rock, classic rock Van Halen groups, all the craft beer cigars, 
Sci-Fi, Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, uh, Classic TV and Movies, Superman, Doobie Brothers groups, right on. You guys rock. So we get to our classic album of the night here. It is by the Doobie Brothers. And I, oh, man, I'm a fan of the Doobie Brothers. There's a, a picture of them right there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the Doobie Brothers. Uh, it is minute by minute. Now, this is released December 1st, 1978, Warner Brothers, produced by uh, Ted Templeman. Um, now, he's worked with, he's basically the sixth member of, or the fifth member of Van Halen. He's worked with Van Halen, Sammy Hagar, Honeymoon Suite, Aerosmith. Uh, this is Doobie Brothers' eighth studio album. And the last album for members John Hartman and Jeff Baxter. Now, the lineup, um, you've got the songs here. Uh, Sweet Feeling, Open Your Eyes, Depending on You, Here to Love You, Minute by Minute. Um, you Never Change, What a Fool Believes, Steamer Lane Breakdown, How the Fools Survive, Don't Stop to Watch the Wheels. Now, it... All right, so and we've got on the inside here, I got this at Goodwill for 10 bucks. So, um, hmm, all right, so, okay, all right. Now, um, the band at this point, the lineup for this band was Patrick Simmons um, on lead guitar, lead and rhythm guitar, Michael McDonald on piano synthesizer, Jeff Baxter on lead guitar, Tyron Porter on bass, and John Hartman and Kevin, um, <laughs> all right, Kevin, all right, okay, Jesus is just, uh, Kevin, or no, Keith Knudsen on, also on drums and vocals. Now, minute by minute, this was the best-selling album for the band. This sold over 3 million copies in the U.S. and worldwide. It stayed on the number one spot in the Billboard album chart for five weeks in a row. So, um, now, it also earned the, the, the Doobies um, three Grammy Awards at the Grammys in February of 1980. One for Best Pop Vocal Performance by a Duo or a Group. The song, What a Fool Believes, Song of the Year and Record of the Year. So, this is a cool song. I was just listening to this today. Um, now, hmm. It's a it's it's a good album. It marks a little bit of a change in uh, musical style for the band. Um, what a fool! Good songs on here, like minute by minute, and what a fool believes, written by Michael McDonald and Kenny Loggins. It was about a man reuniting with an old flame, uh, trying to rekindle a relationship, believing it was the highlight of his life, but the woman saw it as a meaningless fling. Um, but minute by minute. Uh, yeah, it's like the Doobie Brothers, um, produced by super producer Ted Templeman, who's also worked with, like, uh, Van Halen. Um, all right. So, and I posted uh, videos for uh, What a Fool Believes and Minute by Minute on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So, yeah, look for it. Um, like it. Um, yeah. Um, it will be... All right. So... Um, Doobie Brothers still together, I believe. All right. So, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, mm. yeah. All right. Minute by minute by minute. All right. So, mm. Now, before we get to my most favorite time in the blogcast, um, it, uh, all right, my craft beer for tonight, it is accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, mm, 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 all right, so it is called, the craft beer for tonight is called Big Heffin' Hammer by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. Damn good beer. Uh, a little bit of an aftertaste blue to it, but it does go down smoothly. It's a spring and fall beer. I'm going to include spring, summer, and fall. Uh, good for, like, a backyard. Um, 
with your buddies on the patio. Good summer day, good fall beer. Um, now, oh yeah, it's a German style beer, and it it real wow, really like tastes good. And I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blog coming up. Um, if you want to throw out a number, and if you feel it uh, matches up with mine, feel free to do so. Mm. Mm. It's looking good, looking good. Oh yeah, all right. So, mm. 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 oh yeah, bongo solo here. Uh, boom. All right. So, okay. Hmm. All right. Um. Okay. So. All right, people. Uh. Also, I want to reiterate that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify and all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Chip Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Give shouts out to really watching the Sarnia Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock, supporting Sarnia 2.0. Uh, Chain Reaction, they're a great band. Glenn and the guys really deliver the hits. Um, all the retro classic uh, pop culture and nostalgia groups, all the uh, hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, all the pro wrestling groups, all the blog groups, all the classic TV and movies, Superman, Doobie Brothers, rock on. It's Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242, Sunday, February 19th, um, 2023. All right, now we get to my most favorite time in the, ba- in the blog- blogcast. This week in Van Halen history. All right, here we go, from February 13th to the 19th. Uh, February 13th, 1987, David Lee Roth plays the Coliseum in Montgomery, Alabama. February 13th, 1984, Van Halen plays the Coliseum in Richmond, Virginia. Um, February 14th, 1983, Michael Jackson releases a single Beat It from his album Thriller, featuring Edward Van Halen and guitar solo, which Eddie did, reportedly did for free. For free. Um, February 14th, 1984, Van Halen plays the Coliseum in Charlotte, North Carolina. February 14th, 1992, Van Halen plays at the Jefferson Civic Center in Birmingham, Alabama. February 15th, 1982, David Lee Roth and Alex Van Halen appear on the nationally syndicated radio show Rockline. February 15th, 1992, Van Halen releases a single right now off their debut, off their album for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. Uh, February 15, 2001, David Lee Roth files a lawsuit against the Los Angeles California Supreme Court against the online Van Halen VH.com for violation of the Consumer's Legal Remedies Act. February 15, 2020, David Lee Roth opens for Kiss at the Civic Center in Peoria, Illinois. February 16, 1991, David Lee Roth peaks at number 18 on the Billboard album charts with A Little Ain't Enough. Uh, February 16th, 1992, Van Halen plays the Thompson Boiling Arena in Ta- Knoxville, Tennessee. February 16th, 2008, Van Halen plays the Metro Veteran Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida. February 16th, 2020, David Lee Roth opens for Kiss at the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana. February 18th, 1990, 1985, Edward Van Halen donates a guitar to the Hard Rock Cafe in New York, New York. February 18th, 1984, Van Halen plays the Reynolds Coliseum at NSCU in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. February 18th, 2008, Van Halen plays the St. Peter Forum in Tampa, Florida. And February 19th, 1994, Andrew Van Halen plays golf in the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic at the Country Club in Indian Wells, California. And that is all for this week in Van Halen history. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So. Hmm. Oh yeah, bongo solos. All right. Oh. All right. Mean bongo solo there for everybody who wanted one. All right. So. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. I will rate the beer in about five minutes. So. (coughs) 
<clears throat> All right. So, damn good cigar. It is a uh, LB1 by the uh, by the uh, mm, Riverfront Cigars right in, here in Sarnia. Mm. Mm. Mm, all right. So, mm, all right. So, anyways, mm, okay. Mm. All right. So, mm. <coughs> all right. So, anyways, before we get to our motivational, inspirational quote, one more time, I am going to try 20 turns. One more time for the final time tonight, I'm going to try 20 turns at getting the uh, getting a full blue. But here, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, almost seven, we're at seven, um, eight, nine, ten, um, eleven, Mm -hmm. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, ah, uh, 19, and 20. I didn't quite get that. That was for the final time tonight. Um, all right. So our... It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 242. It is Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Um, now, my, with my craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Gibson's Whiskey, finest whiskey. Um, all right, so, mm, all right. Um, it's Big Hef and Hammer by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company. Big Hef and Hammer. All right. There we go. There's the can. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So, anyways, as I rate it, I gotta tell. I gotta. It's my final words here. It's a good spring, summer, and fall beer. Uh, it's good for like uh, when you're out in the back deck with like your friends, um, and uh, after a hard day's work, there's a little bit of a aftertaste to it, but it's really good beer. By the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. And uh, yeah, this is like the uh, rating system here. Um, all right, so mm. okay, so huh? All right. Um. Mm. As I'm about to do so with this beer, mm, big hef and hammer. Mm. Mm. I'm about to throw it a number here. So, all right, um, let's see. Uh, mm. Boom, nine out of 10. You've got nine out of 10. Awesome, all right, fuck. Yes, 9 out of 10 for Big Hef and Hammer. All right, 9, what did I say? Awesome, complex, interesting, makes you want more right away. High seller potential. All right, so 9 out of 10 um, for the uh, Big Hef and Hammer. Mm. Great job, Rusty Wrench Brewing Company. Um, mm. All right, so... All right. Hmm. All right. Uh, yes, nine out of ten. I, I know. Yeah. All right. Great job, guys. Great job for for this beer. This is a do again. Definitely a repeater beer. Um. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and like I said, big hef and hammer. Break good spring, summer, and fall beer. Um, 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, so, all right.
right. Boom. Yeah. Um, good bongo solo there. All right. Yeah. Um, all right. So it, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote, but nine out of 10, damn good beer. I, I mean, for, um, for, yeah, for big heff and hammer, you know, big heff and hammer, rusty wrench brewing company, Strathroy, Ontario, Canada, nine out of 10. Um, yeah. So, all right. Um, gonna let them know. All right. So let's see here. All right. So, hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. All right, so All right. So anyways, yeah, um, I'll give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote. Um, Stop waiting for the perfect moment. Take the moment you have and make it perfect. That's by unknown. Stop waiting for the perfect moment. Take the moment you have and make it perfect. So right on. Um, that's our craft beer, our, 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 our inspirational, motivational quote tonight. So yeah. Um, now, mm, all right, so... Okay. Hmm. <coughs> All right. Hmm. Okay. And so, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Jesus is just around. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just uh, let me figure this out here. All right. So, hmm. all right, I think I put it that right there. All right, so. Okay, I think I put it in the wrong. All right, so, yeah, there we go. All right. So anyways, yeah, 9 out of 10 on the craft beer. Um, it... Uh, now, I've been getting requests for uh, T-shirts. Now, all right, for T-shirts, if you want one like mine, um, a jersey, or um, I've got like a baseball, or a, with the baseball jersey here with the logo on the front and the back, um, or a plain white T-shirt. Um, it, uh, yeah, so there we go. See that? Look at that plain white t-shirt or if you want any a tank top now these t-shirts are 35 bucks a pop include that includes shipping and handling um, e-transfer money order um, contact me through my blogcast page my Facebook profile page tell me what you want in what style what size and I will do my best to get it out to you that's four to six weeks for delivery I can't help that um, yeah so all right, it, uh, all right, so anyways, yeah, Big Heff and Hammer, 9 out of 10, uh, tonight, mm. Mm. all right, so, okay, um, all right, so yeah, uh, good cigar here, mm. <laughs> All right. So anyway, people, okay. Hmm. All right. So, Big Jim Vlogcast Live version 5.0, episode 242, Sunday, February 19, 2023. We gave a 9 out of 10 to, like, uh, Big Heff and Hammer. 
by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Our birthday shout outs. We keep the Rubik three times tonight. Birthday shout out Josh Fenton, Beverly Ann Guy, uh, Shannon Davidson, Chris Hornbuckle, Jason Swan, Shelly Obby, Christine Walker, Leslie Guy Gammy, Mike Muschamp, Bradley Thomas, Jennifer Clark Rowley, Tina Quelch, Lee Ross. We did countdowns, local events. Um, we did our movie Superman Returns. We did our classic canceled TV show, Man from Atlantis. Uh, Zev Sineska, Rebellion Pilot. Uh, classic tag team, The Heart Foundation. Uh, and Snow Spears from Empire Strikes Back. Classic board game, Hoth Ice Planet. Um, our classic albums, Doobie Brothers, Minute by Minute. Mm. Um, this Week in Van Halen History. Our inspirational motivational quote. Stop waiting for the perfect moment. Take the moment you have and make it perfect. Right on. So, you're going to see me next weekend. Behave. Some of us have a long weekend. Thank you for ending your weekend with me. Like I said, some of us have a long weekend. Some of us don't. So, family day here in Canada. Big Jim Vlogcast Live is seen all over the world. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, cheers, everybody. Um, yeah. For those of you who have birthdays this past week, cheers. Mm. Um. It's uh, 9 out of 10 on the uh, Big Hep and Hammer by the Rusty Wrench Brewing Company in Strathroy, Ontario, Canada. Mm. All right. So, mm. yes. Plus this week in Van Halen history, right on. All right. We did a lot of bongo solos. All right. So... For um, the Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, yes, we are not spam. The audio version goes out later on uh, Spotify and all these audio listening platforms. You'll see a podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel. Show it's out to everybody watching the Par- Sarnia Port Elgin groups, um, Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, um, Van Halen, Craft Beer, Cigars, Classic Rock, Hair Metal, Star Wars. Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, Classic TV and Movie, Superman, Doobie Brothers. For Big Jim's Blogcast Live, I'm Jim. Behave yourself. And boom, you will see me next weekend. So, cheers, everybody. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, be good. Um, Enjoy your long weekend if you have it. So, cheers, everyone. Goodbye for now.